Whoa, it's legit a pizza and a sub. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're telling me this is a sandwich and a pizza at the same time? In this video, we're gonna try Firehouse Subs, pepperoni pizza, meatball sub. We're we'll go over the price point, how many calories is it, and if it's worth fitting into your diet. Are you ready? We out. What's going on? It's your boy, Louis Hoffa Show. You know how we do. Back at it again with another Firehouse Sub video. And I know what you might be thinking. Louis, you just did a Firehouse Sub video. And that's right. So if you missed that one, I recently tried their King Hawaiian pork and slaw sandwich. And yo, that thing was fire. As I explained in the other video, it took me 30 minutes to get there because of traffic. I had to take the side streets, 20 minutes to get back. So it's like, yo, I'm not gonna go out there just for one sandwich. So I decided to try their other sandwich, which caught my eye. And yes, it's this one, the pepperoni pizza meatball sub. Holy, that just sounds crazy. So enough talking, let's open this up. All right. So the King Hawaiian roll, it was more of a size of a burger. This one actually looks like a sub. But before we get started, this is a fitness channel, so we have to go over my four rules. The first rule is I follow the 80-20 rule. 80% of my calories come from whole foods, which means lean meats, fruits, and veggies. And 20% of my calories come from foods just like this. My second rule is we don't skip our training, we don't skip our workout, we don't skip our cardio. I personally like to go in the morning and get out of the way, but you can go anytime you like as long as it fits you and your schedule. And the third rule is we eat our man's calories or below. So when you eat your man's calories, you don't gain weight, you don't lose weight. If you eat above your man's calories, you gain weight. And if you're below it, you lose weight. But hey, what if you don't know your man's calories? Well, my friend, lucky for you, I have a free calorie calculator. Just go to bringthestreads.com slash tools. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Type in your info and you'll be good to go. And the fourth and final rule is we don't drink our calories on this channel, unless it's vodka. All right, let's open this up and see what it looks like. Ooh, look at this. Whoa, it's legit a pizza and a sub. A sub pizza, a sub sandwich with pizza toppings, whatever you want to call it. So I will be honest, already seeing what it looks like. I put it in the air fryer for six minutes at 350, 400, something like that. Because hey, I'm not trying to eat a cold sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, it does come with a pickle as well. I love pickles. If you don't, can I get yours? So I got the medium. It comes in small, medium, and large. And if you guys are new to the channel, I usually get the medium in everything. Medium fries, medium pizza. Just because I think small is too small. And even though I could smash a large, no problem. I feel like if you want to save calories and this is a fitness channel, I think medium is just right like Goldilocks and the three bears. So coming at 840 calories. And if you wanna know the rest of the macros, I'll leave them right here. But yeah, guys, super excited. Let's try this. So here's a closer look. This is what it looks like. Uh, it looks like white bread, meatballs, marinara sauce, pepperoni, cheese. Do they have onions? I don't know if they have onions. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, enough talking. Let's do this. Mmm. Mmm, yo, this is legit. I mean, it's basically like a pizza, right? The bread is the crust, the meatballs, the sausage, you got the pepperoni, the cheese, and the marinara sauce. Basically, it tastes what it sounds like. Really good though, I like this a lot. Mmm, here's a bit more of the uh, sausage I just been into. Oh man, that is really good. I can't believe I waited this long to try Firehouse Subs. In the last video, I explained that my old coworker Julian loves Firehouse Subs. They're around here, but they're not as popular, you know what I'm saying? So I haven't really gone out of my way to get it. And Julian's always talking about it, how he loves it. But uh, yeah, I see what the hype is about now. And when I was there to pick up my order, always order online, it's faster. But there was like a long line, Firehouse Sub. You know what you guys are doing. Mm. Wait, I forgot, I have a pickle. Shout out to all my pickle lovers out there. This one's for you. Mm, man, I love pickles. And usually they're like zero or five calories each. Mm. But yeah, guys, this is not bad for 840 calories for the medium. Again, I don't know how small the small is, and then I don't know how big the large is, but I feel like medium, it's a good size. That is so good. And like I mentioned, rule number four, we don't drink our calories on this channel. So today I have a nice Coke Zero. Zero calories, zero sugar, zero everything. Not sponsored. Ah, 
You can't go wrong with Firehouse subs and Coke Zero. Am I right? So question for you guys, what do you guys like washing down like a pizza or a burger with? Of course, it sounds nice to pair a nice pizza or a burger with like a fancy beer, like an IPA or some people like stouts or a Hefeweizen or something like that. But to me, I feel like pairing those two are just too heavy on me, you know what I'm saying? I like lighter beers, like Japanese beers, Korean beers, they're very light. So you can eat and drink at the same time, but heavier beers, American beers, German beers, I feel like it's one or the other, you know what I'm saying? Like drink your beer first, get a little buzz, and then go eat. But washing it down with like a nice Diet Coke, I think that's the way to go. Let me know down below if you agree. But yeah, guys, big meatballs, marinara sauce. Like I said, it's what it sounds like, a pizza sub. Mm. I bet I could make a healthier version of this. And what I mean by healthier, if you watch me like how to make a homemade pizza, I use turkey pepperoni, save fat, fat-free cheese, lower calories, higher protein. So I think we can do the same. Maybe Trader Joe's has a healthier meatball. Trader Joe's are known to have their crazy products and like healthier alternatives. I think Trader Joe's is nationwide, right? It's not just around here. I think so. Let me know down below. Mm. Another slice of the pickle. Mm. This pairs really well together. I know some places out there you can get a pickle pizza and people like love it. I never had it before and I'm not one to judge, but I'm always willing to try anything just once. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, I always end it off with the question of the day. It helps you guys get to know me better. And if you leave a comment below, it helps me get to know you guys better as well. So today's question is, what sci-fi movie or book would you like the future to be like? I'll tell you two movies I don't want it to be like, and then I'll tell you what movie I think it'll be like, or I think it'll be cool to be like. So the first movie I don't want it to be like is, I think it's called Idi Idiocracy. I think it was in the early 2000s where they watered plants with Gatorade because of electrolytes. But yeah, since everything's so advanced, people got dumber at the same time because everybody became lazy. And I remember reading the comments saying that's kind of where society is headed. Like the more advanced technology is, the more lazy people get and then the dumber people get as well. So I don't want it to be like that. And then the second movie I don't want to be like is uh, Ready Player One, where reality is just crap. So you have to put on your virtual reality goggles to escape reality, you know what I'm saying? And I think with the whole metaverse and apple creating their whole goggles thing the apple goggle is always called i think a lot of people are going to steer away from going outside being indoors all the time especially kids that's what i don't want to be like and i hope it doesn't come out that way even though society looks like it hopefully there's some kind of thing to stop it or regulations or something but what i think would be cool is uh back to the future of course right you got the hoverboard uh the shoes i think it's the nikes where like they lace them up by yourself i think they have flying cars right and I forgot what it was, but I think like you put something in the oven and instantly it became a pizza, something like that. That would be cool. I mean, we already have self-driving cars, right? Would flying cars be a thing one day? I mean, never say never, right? You never know. With that being said, now let's see the other half of this. Pepperoni pizza, meatball sub. Again, guys, medium, 840 calories. I think that's just right. Because if you think about it, like a chicken sandwich, it's already like 650, 700. So what's an extra 150 calories, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and Firehouse subs, I think this would be good with fries. Just like Subway, they only come with chips. If you like chips, all good, but I think fries would be even better. Mm. Guys, let me know down below if you guys have a Firehouse subs where you live. And if you guys are willing to try this, the King Hawaiian roll is a limited time, but this one is uh, permanent, I think. Mmm, you know about that pickle, that sweetness. Mmm. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I'm gonna finish the rest of this sub. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Bring the Shreds. We're all about moderation, not deprivation. Because hey, life is too short for chicken breast, brown rice, and broccoli all day. Am I right? Don't forget to bring the shreds, and I will talk to you soon.